I'm Nate Hidalgo. Brian George. Right here in beautiful Whitefish, Montana. And yeah. we're gonna do a little follow-up video on the bear spray that last, we did last year. Yeah, last year we kind of went into how to use it as opposed to you know what it actually looks like using it with different types. We got different, I got a 7.9 ounce bottle here and this. And then I've got the large magnum canister, 10.2 ounce, and the other little pipsqueak one. And last year we learned that do not put this on because you can't take it off quick enough, fast enough to take this out and get ready and spray. So today, this is our big bad bear. The top part is about how tall they'd be, maybe five feet, big old mouth. And we're gonna be shooting this big canister to see how wide it shoots, to see how far it shoots. We're gonna see how long these cans last. They say about six seconds, 10 seconds. So that way you know when you're out there hiking and biking. So this can, I just bought it today. This was 55 bucks. These were like two for 62 bucks. Okay. And um, you know, we can, you can go out there and spend hundreds of dollars on ammo, shooting guns, right? All weekend long. So I know it seems like a lot because you never get it back once you use it, but it's worth it to spend that 50 bucks, 62 bucks for two of those. Shoot it, try it, get used to it. These will explode when your car is very hot. So don't do that. And I've been doing that for a year and a half. Leave it in there. You, what if I need it? Yeah. yeah. Actually standing at 55 feet right now, we've got logs overhead that you'll see in the footage that are 10 feet apart, going all the way up to 20 feet to the Dirty Shirley up there. So uh, kind of keep that in mind for space. <laughs> What do we got here, boys? We got the little ones. Whoa! We got the pepper power. Let's see what this does to the grizzly. Two, one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this one went further, but it went out quicker. Oh my god. So, Nate, I'm completely blown away magnum was not better yeah the magnum was not better the 10.2 ounces so there was just a slight little breeze I for me it looked like it went maybe 15 feet this says it goes 30 30 32 feet yeah, it was definitely a lot smaller breadth of spray the distance was not I mean you got more of it but it's not gonna it's really easy to pull the trigger. So after you take this off, you know, it's easy to pull and kind of point whatever direction, but there's, I don't know. I thought there'd be like a big force behind it and this big plume. Yeah. It just felt it's, like nothing. So this but, brand was a little bit more powerful. Yep. And it's smaller ounces. And then again, um, I think I stopped at four seconds. So that way we could see a different vantage point from the drone and did it again and I think it lasted like another two to three seconds. And this one goes 30 feet so just about as far as that only four seconds worth but it actually gets out I'd say probably 20 feet or so. Trigger is as you'd expect it I mean it's, it's worth really keeping easy. the safety on it's not worth taking it off because I would I would imagine if you bumped it with your elbow or if you're keeping it somewhere where you need to keep it you're gonna hit that button it's just not worth getting that crap over. oh my gosh so here's the little small one pepper blitz by counter assault and um, it says it contains six one second shots projects a dense stream of six to eight feet I mean this was like a mouse pissing 
uh, I think it hit maybe hit five feet. This is for if you get like a an unwanted visitor of the human nature. Really, <laughs> this isn't for. Uh, so it's cool they put it in there. Probably as a little gift or a little paraphernalia to have for something cool for yeah. bear spray. But yeah, I would not recommend even just taking this with you. Um, hey, what do you think? I'm yeah. blown away. Yeah. No, this one definitely was the, the way to go. Uh, so I think even with the light breeze, that that bigger can it got blown away pretty pretty, pretty easily. A very there light wasn't breeze. Wasn't much force between behind it. You carry a big handgun. What do you think, Nate? Say so bring both and we'll bring both into a bear. Period. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that helped everybody. It's worth it to go out and practice. Maybe you uh, have better luck, but yeah, that was real life scenario and be safe out there, guys. Yeah, enjoy it out there.